there should be a lot of pressure on Aaron Rodgers to improve upon what, by his standards, was was not a very good year last year. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was a shockingly off year by Aaron Rodgers, albeit without Jordy Nelson, his best deep threat mm -hmm. receiver. But I am tired of hearing that Aaron Rodgers is, quote, unquote, the best quarterback in football. But he is. If, 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 but it, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, you're going to have a hard time convincing me of that after I finish <laughs> with you. The more I hear that, the more I say baloney to that because – by his standards, and their their high, yes. lofty standards, he had a bad year last year, and he is being overhyped and overrated the way Andrew Luck has been overhyped and overrated, except with Aaron, it's at a much higher level. I am sick and tired of hearing Aaron Rodgers even spoken in the same sentence with Tom Brady, and that's all I hear. I hear him placed above Tom Brady constantly, and if we want to get there, we'll get there in just a second, but let me put this in some perspective for you. Tom Brady is 22 and 9 in playoff games. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he has won four Super Bowl rings that should or could or almost were two more. Okay. So he's four with two near misses. Aaron Rodgers is seven and six in playoff games. One Super Bowl win and only one try. And he's been in two conference championship games. Tom Brady has played in 10 conference championship games and four straight conference championship games. That's staggeringly better than Aaron Rodgers. And by the way, if you take out Aaron Rodgers' one miracle three-game road run to a Super Bowl that he won against Pittsburgh, as you mm -hmm. recall. Remember, he won against Michael Vick and yep. Matt Ryan, and then he beat Jay Cutler, who was on, wound up on the bicycle in the second half at Soldier yep. Field. Those were his three wins to get to the Super Bowl to beat Pittsburgh, and he was great in that Super Bowl game. And I, I'll be the first to admit to you that, that Aaron Rodgers looks the part. Lightning release, laser arm, we get all that. I'm talking about playoff performance. I'm talking about the numbers. If you take out the miracle three-game run in the Super Bowl, so that's four wins, Aaron Rodgers is three and six in the postseason. Since that Super Bowl, Aaron Rodgers is three and five in the postseason with two home playoff losses at Lambeau Field, one to Colin Kaepernick, one to Eli. Yes. Seriously? And, and you dare, anybody would dare to put him in the same sentence with Tom Brady? Are you kidding me? Now, again, he gets Jordy back, and I'm not sure if Jordy's 100% healthy. I think he's been sort of hit and miss there. Mm -hmm. But they keep messing with their offensive line. He doesn't have the protection. And it's the same stuff I hear about Andrew Luck, again, at a much higher level. But listen, in the postseason, I think Aaron Rodgers has been a big disappointment in the grand scheme of things. And please, don't you tell me that he's even on the same level with Tom Brady in the postseason. No, he's not. Um, nobody's on the level with Tom Brady. He, Tom Brady is the greatest postseason quarterback in NFL history. Thank you. Um, I don't think he's the greatest quarterback. That belongs to Joe Montana, but we'll talk about that some other day. Uh, he is under pressure, but I don't think the teams that he's played on, I don't think Aaron Rodgers' football team, once they got to the playoff, I don't really think he he's had the best playoff team. They weren't better than Seattle. Now, they should have beaten Seattle in that conference championship game. They had him dead to right. He had a bum calf. But the thing is... You know he, what? I, th I thought by his standards, he was pretty awful in that game. He missed a bunch of throws in that game. He yeah. was not Aaron Rodgers. The man was out there with a walker. Okay. Skip, come on, give him the I, I thought he moved around just fine. Well, how about this, Skip? I think quarterbacks get too much credit when they win and too much blame when they lose because we're giving Tom Brady up. But those early Super Bowls were defensive struggles. And just like you said, he could have won two more. He could have easily lost those four, too. It's not like they won, you know, Adam Vinatieri was kicking a bunch of field goals as the time expired. So it wasn't like Tom Brady was throwing game-winning touchdown passes. I know, but he got him in position, like, against all odds? Come on. Okay, well, Peyton Manning got, got Vanderjack in position, but he missed it. You blame that on Peyton. That's neither here nor there. We're talking about Aaron Rodgers. I blame that on Peyton, but go he ahead. Ha he has two MVPs. You would like to see a guy, since the merger, there, there are only a handful of guys that have that many MVPs. And normally, they go to more than one Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers is on the clock. He lost Jordy Nelson. I'm a guy, I don't give excuses, therefore I don't have to make any excuses. He has not played as well as he has in the pro season as he does in the regular season. He's the highest rated quarterback in NFL history in the regular season. The postseason, he would still be fifth, Skip. Defensively, look at Dom Capers' defense. 
they're awful in the playoffs. You see that. With the exception, as you mentioned, that one magical run. Mm -hmm. But other than that, they're old, they're old. Julius Peppers, he can give you a play here or there. He's not that dominant force. They got Clay Matthews playing out of position. The secondary, the safeties, I like the sec the safeties more than I do the uh, uh, the corners. But offensive line, they they you know they release Josh sit uh, sitting. But this is what happened. I was, I was stunned by that. I don't know. Maybe there's some inside story. I don't know. But, but this, unless you're Peyton Manning and you have a wife that's going to make $30, $50 million a year that you're willing to pay for less than market value, all these other quarterbacks, Skip, they're getting market value uh, above. When you do that, you limit what you can add around them. So if you look at it, he loses uh, uh, Jordy Nelson. Look at what he has around him. Yeah, but you know what? Ted Thompson is a really good has great eye for he, talent. He, yeah. I, I think he's done a really good job. But in the you can draft. only do maybe so not much. the last couple of years. But Skip, you're playing your quarterback twenty two million. You're paying these guys twenty plus million dollars. What What are you supposed to add? Okay, but he's Aaron Rodgers, the best quarterback in football. Skip, stop. Don't give me that. Don't make excuses for him. I'm not making excuses, Skip. But you need to understand. See. Tom Brady is an anomaly. So you compare everything to Tom. No, he, everybody says Aaron Rodgers is the best. Well, Tom Brady's still the Tom, best. Tom At Bra 39, he's still the best. Tom Brady has had the same owner, the same head coach, since he's been in the National Football League. Nobody has had the same owner. Well, so has Aaron. I mean, Aaron's had it pretty... It's yeah. been the same all the way. So through. are you are you trying and to Thompson tell me... Mike drafted him. Are you trying to tell me Mike McCarthy and Bill Belichick? You... you I, I yeah, frankly I'm think I, I think Belichick gets too much credit. I think Skip, not I, I'll go 75% Brady, 25% Belichick. That's what I do. I've said it from the start. Okay, but I'm saying the mere fact that you – so how, what, how much does McCarthy get? The guy got – Skip, you keep talking about Coach Belichick like he's just a run-of-the-mill guy. The guy has four Super Bowl rings as a head coach, two as a defensive coordinator. That's got to weigh something. He's just not an average guy. His, look, take everything, all the, the spy gate, the flake gate, or whatever, what kind of gate you want. He's the greatest NFL coach in history. The greatest. Well, better than me. Better than Walsh. Better, better than, than Walsh? Better than Lombard. Uh, that, uh, uh, that's uh. absurd. That's Bill Walsh, Bill Walsh drafted and coached all those teams and all those players. He was the greatest combination, general manager and coach. All I know is Coach Belichick has four Super Bowl wins as a head coach. Mm -hmm. He has two as a defensive assistant. That's what we know. Why are we arguing this? Tom Brady, Tom Brady is an anomaly. You can't say, well, this is what Tom record is in, in, in the playoffs. This is what... No, nobody's ever going to do that again, Skip. Okay, but how can you keep telling me that Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback? I've been hearing it for at least five years, and I keep looking at these numbers, and I say, show me. That's all. I'm a show me guy. Because, do it in the postseason. Skip, because he has no fundamental weakness throwing the football. He can throw the ball equally as proficient from the pocket, on the move, rolling left, rolling right. He can change arm angles. He has no weakness throwing the football. Plus, he has legs. Tom Brady might get you two first downs running the football a year. We know he has that, that quarterback sneak at the one-yard line. He has that down pat. But if you poll 32 owners, not owners, 32 general managers, I bet you 25 to 28 of them will say Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in football right now. Okay, and they'd all be wrong. They would. I, Tom Brady was better last year. He's the better the year before. I, I'll take Tom Brady in the regular season. Forget about all the postseason numbers I just no, threw at you. No. I'll still take Tom Brady. Even I, at 39, I'll take him over Aaron Rodgers. The pressure, He'll win more games late. I, the pressure, I'm sorry. 